Hello and welcome. Today we'll be conducting some docking training both alongside and Stern 2. We're on board the Sunseeker 52 with owner Gary and his son Daniel. As you can see on our starboard side we have a North Cardinal marker which is indicating a danger to the south. So we will pass on the north. So in this situation you can be as slow as you like. In gear, out gear, let it drift in. In gear, out gear, let it drift in. Right, so check those fender heights. Very important to remember to position the fenders at the right height, as different docks may have different heights. This yacht is fitted with a stainless steel handrail which goes all the way around the boat, so I would suggest tying the fenders with a clove hitch. The great thing about a clove hitch is that it's easy to learn and it also makes it easy to adjust the height of the fenders. As you can see here, this fender has been incorrectly tied, so I'm just unwrapping it and then redoing it with a clove hitch. The goal for this docking is to tie up to the fuel key on our port side without the use of the bow thruster. Yeah. So for my liking, you, you've turned kind of too soon here. I did. I did. So all you do is just reverse back. Yep. We're gonna correct this to this properly, okay? Yeah. Right, we reverse back, put the, no more wheel, no please. More wheel. Yep. Keep this centered, yep. okay? Go straight back. If you're not comfortable with the positioning of the boat when you are docking, there is nothing wrong with going out and starting again. You're in charge and ultimately it's your decision. Okay, neutral, starboard ahead, starboard ahead, starboard ahead. You're both ahead, you got both ahead. Okay, all right, no, no, no wheel, no wheel, no, wheel. stop, stop the wheel. Okay, now we want a boat facing this way, so let's put port let's astern as well. Let's go back out. Okay, port, port, port engine astern, that's both engines. Okay, when I say port engine astern, oh, yeah, that's right, that's right. port okay. engine astern. Leave it there. Okay, neutral. Great. Starboard ahead. Great. Neutral. Wait. Both ahead. Neutral. Starboard ahead. Neutral. Starboard ahead. Neutral. As you can see here, the vessel is drifting to starboard, which I'm not very comfortable with, but watch these corrections. Port ahead. Neutral. Now we're going to purposely overshoot it, allowing the momentum to kick the stern to port while using the engines to bring the bow to port. Starboard stern. Neutral. Port ahead. Neutral. Now, port astern. No, that's starboard, port astern. Neutral. Port astern. Neutral. Watch what the boat's doing. I'm using no bow thruster here. Okay, nice. Starboard astern. Great. Neutral. Port ahead. Neutral. Starboard ahead. Neutral. Locking it in. No bow thruster. Yeah. Yeah. Little touches. Just no, we the bow went a little bit. We corrected it and we brought the bow back in. Yeah. Just, just Daniel, get that line off quickly. It's important that your crew know how to tie the boat up efficiently and effectively. And that will conclude the alongside docking. A couple of key things to remember, never turn off the main engines until the vessel is correctly tied up. Establish a good communication with your crew and try to go as slow as possible without losing control of the boat. Next up is a Stern 2 docking, otherwise known as a Mediterranean moor. If you're looking to charter your anywhere in the world, then get in touch with our team at Mortlock Yachts. We have a huge selection available of all sizes and budgets. Click the link in the description box below.
Here we have a East Cardinal marker, which is telling us there is a danger to the West and it's safe to pass to the East. If you have a yacht based in the Mediterranean and you would like for me to come on board to give you some training free of charge, then send me a message on Instagram or send an email to info at superyachtcaptain.co.uk. Fenders are out, just getting the boat hook ready on standby and have the lines ready also on the aft deck. On the flybridge, Gary is calling up the port for assistance on the VHF radio. Gary, 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 radio check, radio check. Okay, so we're gonna do, come in. Click this on the back of your pants like that. Good. This is gonna come over here and you're gonna unzip that a little bit. You put that, that's how we do on AWOL. And then now you can hear him. You have to hold it the whole time. You wanna communicate, you just transmit the button there. Always remember the following before going into your berth. Fenders out, mooring lines ready, boat hook on standby, establish who is doing what, Test the engines for a head and a stern propulsion. Test the steering, bow and stern thrusters, and let the port authorities know of your arrival. Go a bit more forward that way, Gary, because the wind's pushing that way. You've got all these ground lines here. You want to head that way. Forget yeah. coming this way yet. Yeah. All right, your thrust is on. They're ready, just in case. Where possible on windier days, I would suggest docking with your stern into the wind. Here we have the bow into wind, but it's not blowing too hard. On these sort of motor yachts, you have much more control of the vessel when you stick your bum into wind. Uh, don't, 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 don't do two at a time, put it in neutral. Okay, yeah. now starboard ahead. Huh? Starboard ahead. Okay, yep. Yeah. Neutral, port astern. Yeah. And starboard ahead at the same time. Twist it. Okay, now starboard neutral. Keep port stern, yep. The reason I don't charge a fee for this training is that it's a good incentive for the owners to allow me to film the process. I rely on the channel members, Patreons and sponsors to cover my time. And if you join, it allows me to create more videos like this. Otherwise, I would really appreciate it if you just click the like button. Thank you for your support. So I'm not giving Gary any instructions here. He's doing a great job. The key thing to remember is the direction of the wind and this is going to be important and you'll see why in a second. So he's coming in nicely, he's just using the throttles, he's not using any steering. But as I mentioned earlier, this is exactly why I prefer coming in stern to the wind, so the bow to the wind. As he's coming around, the bow picked up momentum as it's being pushed by the wind. So you'll see now I need to step in here to correct the bow with the bow thruster. If we had the stern into the wind as we were coming into the berth, this would not have happened as the momentum of the boat, the bow coming around, would have still be slowed down by the wind. So this is why I always prefer putting stern into wind. My rule of keeping the stern into the wind applies to motor yachts. It doesn't necessarily apply to sailing yachts. Step, step, all the way forward, step forward, 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 forward. So he's gonna throw you the line, get ready to grab the line. Okay, good, put it through. As Daniel ties on the stern lines, my job is to pick up the ground line and pull it forward to the bow to tie it off. Okay, get down to the kick ahead, go forward. Okay, you step out one other way, maybe get this ground line on first. These ground lines have caused some confusion over the years from mostly my US viewers, as in the States, they tend to tie alongside. The purpose of the ground line is to prevent the back of the boat from hitting the dock. The way it works is this line is connected to a big concrete block forward of the yacht. And as we pull this line, it pulls the boat forward. So as we have the stern lines on, the stern lines stop the boat going uh, forward and the bow line stops the boat going back. Um, so that is the purpose of the ground line, hence the Mediterranean moor. A common mistake is a lot of owner operators will tie on the two stern lines before picking up the ground line. What I would recommend is first attaching one stern line windward, in this case starboard, and then taking the starboard ground line as quickly and as safely as possible to tie to the bow. All right, this one's on there. Yeah, I think it's fine. 
The final step of this docking is to attach the two spring lines on the stern. The purpose of spring lines is to stop the yacht from swinging side to side, keeping her nice and snug in her berth. Thank you to both Gary and Daniel for participating and a big thank you to our channel members, Patreons and sponsors. Please let me know in the comments box below what sort of training videos you would like to see next. Hit that like button and subscribe if you enjoy this video.